Hello, hi everyone. You're on my channel, you're welcome. My name is Helen. In today's video, we continue learning English with What do women want? And your first task is to understand the meaning of what you hear. So, if you're ready, let's start. Oh, forgive me. It's all right. But this is phenomenal. Right. You can hear inside my head. Yes. Why would you want to get rid of such a brilliant gift? So, what did you hear? Find the correct description of this scene. A. The woman is anxious about money her client got. B. The woman is so happy to hear her client is getting married. C. The woman is excited because her client can read her mind. And the correct answer is C. The woman is excited because her client can read her mind. Look through these words and be ready to watch the scene one more time. Right. But this is phenomenal. Right. You can hear inside my head. Yes. Why would you want to get rid of such a brilliant gift? Here are our answers. We didn't hear give, outside, lift, bet. Watch the scene carefully. One more time, but this time with English subtitles. Oh, forgive me. It's all right. But this is phenomenal. Right. You can hear inside my head. Yes. Why would you want to get rid of such a brilliant gift? Here we can read our subtitles one more time. In case some words were unfamiliar. Forgive me. This is phenomenal. You can hear inside my head. Why would you want to get rid of such a brilliant gift? Here we have one very interesting phrase. Get rid of something. What does it mean? It means to remove something that you do not want any longer. You can use this phrase not only with something, but also with someone. Our main character doesn't want to hear what women think, and he wants to get rid of such a brilliant gift. Next scene. Well, for starters, almost every woman I know thinks I'm an asshole. That's what I thought when I first met you. Uh, Doc, could you please give me a break here? Now, look at our slide and find the correct description of this scene. A. Almost all women think this man is handsome and friendly. B. Almost all women think this man isn't a good person. C. Almost all people think this man is odd and has a lot of secrets. The correct answer is B. Almost all women think this man isn't a good person. They think he's an asshole. The same task, you have to look at these words and tick those ones you will not hear in our scene. Well, for starters, almost every woman I know thinks I'm an asshole. That's what I thought when I first met you. Uh, Doc, could you please give me a break here? Here are our answers. We didn't hear at first all, taught, wet, drink, call. Watch this scene one more time with English subtitles. Well, for starters, almost every woman I know thinks I'm an asshole. 
That's what I thought when I first met you. Uh, Doc, could you please give me a break here? You can read our subtitles one more time. For starters, almost every woman I know thinks I am an asshole. That's what I thought when I first met you. Doc, please give me a break here. Some useful words and phrases. For starters, it's like first or firstly. Asshole. This word isn't polite, as you can see. Please try not to use it, especially with unknown people. Almost every woman I know thinks I am an asshole. So we can say that every woman thinks that he is a very bad person. Like he has a huge ego and so on and so forth. That's what I thought when I first met you. We have past simple tense here. Thought, the second form of the verb think. Let's recall three forms of this verb. Think, thought, thought. Meet, met, met. Next scene. The same task. Listen to actors carefully. Freud died at age 83, still asking one question. What do women want? Hmm. Wouldn't it be strange and wonderful if you were the one man on earth finally able to answer that question? Now, find the correct description of this scene. A. The woman supposes her client can be the only one man able to answer difficult questions. B. The woman says her client can be the only one man able to answer her questions. C. The woman says that her client can be the only one man able to answer questions about women's desires. And our answer is C. Find five words or phrases which are not in this scene. So, watch it one more time. Freud died at age 83, still asking one question. What do women want? Hmm. Wouldn't it be strange and wonderful if you were the one man on earth finally able to answer that question? Our answer, we didn't have awful, lied, useful, dangerous, won't. Watch it one more time with subtitles. Freud died at age 83, still asking one question. What do women want? Hmm. Wouldn't it be strange and wonderful if you were the one man on earth finally able to answer that question? Now we can read subtitles together. Freud died at age 83, still asking one question. What do women want? Wouldn't it be strange and wonderful if you were the one man on earth finally able to answer that question? Pay your attention to the second sentence. Here we have the second conditional. Our sentence consists of two parts, if clause and main clause. After if, we use past simple tense, if you were. And in our main clause, we can use would, could, might, plus infinitive. The second conditional we use to imagine present or future situations that are impossible or imaginary. Let's read our examples. The first one. If I had a sister, I would be happy. So, from this sentence we can understand that I don't have a sister, but I'd like to have her. And I would be happy if I had her if I had a sister. 
So we can say that this situation is just imaginary, or maybe it's impossible. Next sentence. If I didn't run, I mightn't be healthy. That means that I am a healthy person, maybe quite healthy person, and I often run. And I believe if I didn't do that, if I didn't run, I wouldn't be healthy or I might not be healthy. Also an imaginary situation. The third sentence. If you read books, you could answer a lot of questions. From this sentence, we understand that the person doesn't read books. Now, watch our scene one more time, and you will see that you understand almost everything. Oh, forgive me! It's all right. But this is phenomenal! You can hear inside my head. Yes. Why would you want to get rid of such a brilliant gift? Well, for starters, almost every woman I know thinks I'm an asshole. That's what I thought when I first met you. Uh, Doc, could you please give me a break here? You know, Freud died at age 83, still asking one question. What do women want? Hmm. Wouldn't it be strange and wonderful if you were the one man on Earth finally able to answer that question? And our quiz. First question. Get rid of something means A. To get something unnecessary B. To come across something necessary C. To throw something unwanted away and our answer is C, to throw something unwanted away. Next, for starters, means. Finally, first of all, the main reason. And our answer is first of all. And the last task, matching. Match words and phrases with their meanings. There are two extra options. You can pause the video and do this task. Okay, slide with our answers. Thought met. That is past simple of think meet. Able to answer means can reply. Inside means in the part of something under its surface. Brilliant gift means a natural ability or skill. Forgive means to decide not to be angry with someone. Well done! I hope you enjoyed the movie What Do Women Want and you liked this video. And of course, I hope you found something new for you. If so, click subscribe to my channel and see you soon. Bye-bye.